This is something we actually didn't even touch on in the review video. This is the Onyx Books Max 2 Pro, and this is one of the th six things on the bottom here. Application is one of them, and a big thing of this is that it's Android. You can see we've even sideloaded a application there, an application. So we're just going to do a little bit of exploring applications. We're not going to do browser because we showed you that already on a separate video. We'll do calculator here. Everything works really quick. You can press back and it jumps immediately out of the application calendar okay there was a problem communicating with google services and just then it allowed me through anyways great security we'll go to clock here this will allow you to obviously choose world time and all that you can choose from just a few countries probably all 200 that exist 200 plus you have dictionary downloads anything that you have downloaded from websites because there is this does have a file explorer so you actually can download things email I, I haven't set that up monitor we showed in the full review video you can actually use this as a secondary monitor for your PC no power cables nothing involved no software all you do is plug it in the default music player is like this you have artists albums songs and playlists um, I don't have anything in here but you can download any music player you want from Google Play and we'll show you that in a few seconds here you have reading statistics of all your books how much uh, time you've read it annotations you've made books reading and some graphs to give you a little bit of uh, progress and you have sound recorder which is as it says because there is a microphone right down here on the device you can simply record let's explore Google Play a little bit because that's what you wanted me to stop yammering for is basically Google Play so this is Google Play, boots right up. Yes, we did input our Google Play information, so that's why it didn't ask us to sign in to all that crap. But you can simply tap on anything just as you would on a mobile device, although it is much slower, of course. People are always like, oh, why would I buy this for $700 when I can buy an iPad? Guys, this isn't an iPad. It's not an LCD LED screen. This is e-ink. It's apples and oranges, completely different. So that's not a really valid argument. So this is a Family Guy game, of course, and we're just swiping past the uh, promotional or the advertising uh, pictures here of what your game is going to look like. You can play the video. <laughs> Should we do that? Let's do that. I'm going to play the video. See what happens. Oh, God. It's going to redirect to YouTube. It's going to sign me into YouTube. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Sure. All right, here we go. Will it play? It's gonna play. Oh, it's playing. It's actually, look at that. Okay, that wasn't terrible that 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 I, I've never actually done that that was not terrible at all I could view that kind of okay um, well that's, that's very surprising so anyways you can look at reviews uh, anything that the mobile uh, uh, mobile version of Google Play will give you you do get on this device so basically we're not going to spend all the day on this and click multiple different things because in a nutshell that is what you can do on the application side of this device you can sideload things as you see there all the preloaded stuff have this kind of curved square around it so you'll know how to differentiate between those two and that's basically it for the application experience on the onyx books max 2 pro if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below if you hated what we filmed if you loved what we filmed if you want to see other stuff let us know for goodyreader.com this is peter